I really, this is going to be another quick video because I'm not here to review a bag so much as I'm here to review a philosophy. I realized that um, you may be wondering where I am. This is actually outside of the place where I normally do my videos, which is in my basement studio. Um, problem is I just got through knee surgery and so going up and down the stairs and standing for a long period of time is kind of rough. So I'm recording this upstairs in my study directly into the computer. And you know, for the last few years, I've definitely adopted the one bag travel philosophy and, and it's as simple as what it sounds like. Instead of packing multiple bags when you go on a trip, you bring one bag. Um, and there are all sorts of benefits to this. Um, you know, you get to free your hands to be able to um, pay for coffee, dig around for your passport, et cetera, or maybe even, um, you know, carry your kids' luggage if they can't carry it themselves or, you know, hold on to their hands as you're going through a busy airport. Um, you don't need to keep track of two bags in the airport um, when you're standing in line. Um, you, most importantly, you don't need to um, fight for overhead storage in the airplane, which I think is kind of huge um, because your bag can fit in the, the, uh, the, the underneath the seat in front of you. Um, not having to check your luggage, you know, obviously we know the benefits of that. Not only will they not be able to lose it because it's with you, but two, you don't have to wait for the uh, carousel to spit out your luggage, which sometimes takes an inordinate amount of time. Um, the other issue here is that if you are somebody who's carrying a lot of luggage, typically you're somebody who's carrying a um, one of those wheeled luggage bags. They're ubiquitous. Um, and those things, you know, they make it look like you're a tourist. I mean, it's not as if me walking around with a backpack on my back makes me not look like a tourist. Um, but for sure, you look like a tourist when you're carrying one of those wheeled pieces of luggage along with a another backpack or a, a satchel or something that you're bringing with you. Um, and, you know, bottom line is that the, the one bag travel forces you to pack very efficiently. Um, and frankly, when you carry less, you look like a more seasoned traveler. And in the same way that wearing a suit, sorry about the vacuum cleaner, you can probably hear there, um, wearing a suit makes people treat you differently, you know, with great, a lot more respect. Um, traveling lightly at the very least gives off a vibe of you being somebody who knows what he or she is doing. And, um, you know, for what it's worth, um, some people feel like that's an important thing. Now, there are some significant problems that I've had with one bag travel, um, particularly as I've gotten older and uh, my body is kind of broken down. I mean, I had to get the knee surgery. I also have a bad back and a bad shoulder. And so carrying a one bag travel backpack is definitely a struggle for me because if you are just carrying one bag, it's you're carrying a lot of stuff. And for me, I'm always carrying a camera kit, a tripod, my uh, computer. Sometimes I'm even bringing my iPad with me wherever I'm going and my headphones. So you can imagine it starts to get very heavy. Um, and I'm not saying that that's the, the cause of all the issues that I've had in terms of my, my skeletal system, um, but certainly it doesn't help to, to carry that kind of a load on your back. Um, and so, you know, the other problem is, is that most of these travel backpacks, their suspension systems are good, but they're not great. They're not meant for um, carrying over long amounts of time. I mean, if you're, carry if you're carrying something for less than a mile, it's totally fine. More than that, it's going to start to hurt. They're nothing like the technical backpacks that you use when you're hiking the Appalachian Trail. Um, and and you, frankly, those backpacks you could never bring on board a plane because they wouldn't be able to... Um, fit in the overhead compartment. Um, all right, so the bottom line is uh, I, I'm moving myself towards doing two bag travel. Um, and though I'm not terribly keen on having a rolling bag with me, um, it clearly is the best way to carry all that extra weight. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll take that, uh, that carry on luggage or the, the wheeled luggage plus a personal item, one of my everyday carry bags. Um, and uh, I think that's going to do, uh, do me some wonders. So I give up a little bit of the, uh, you know, being inconspicuous. And uh, especially because I'm, I'm actually looking at uh, one of those rolling hard cases since I'm carrying so much um, delicate equipment. Um, so those things sort of stick out. Uh, but 
you know, I think that there's a huge benefit uh, and one that obviously when I weighed the costs and benefits, I decided that I needed to shift, abandon, sadly, the one bag travel and go to a two bag travel situation. Um, anyway, the next uh, couple of videos, I'm going to be showing you what it is that I've decided how I'm going to do that. Like what will be my um, the bag that I use, the wheeled bag that I'll use. Um, I'm looking at a few options there. And um, I'm also, it, it's a little bit hard, but uh, to find an everyday carry that also uh, allows you to have pretty good access to your photographic equipment, uh, that's not super easy. Your typical everyday carry bag is going to, yeah, it'll hold your camera equipment, but it won't give you fast access to your camera equipment the way that some dedicated camera backpacks allow you to have quick access. All right, so keep on the lookout for new videos as they pop up and um, don't forget to subscribe right here and um, I will be in touch with you guys all soon. See ya.